Hi, we're working on grade three, module five, or fractions. So it's been a while, but we have worked on using unit fractions to build bigger fractions. But all of the fractions that we built were less than one. They were less than one whole. Now we're gonna use that same method, but our fractions are going to be bigger than one. We do the exact same thing, we just do it more often to make bigger fractions. Let's take a look. Okay, we can add blank to make fractions greater than one. We can add unit fractions, just like we did before. So we can add unit fractions to make fractions greater than one. When we have fractions greater than one, we will have more than one whole. So it makes sense if we're adding up more than one, we'll have the one and then we'll have some more stuff. Okay, so when we have fractions greater than one, we will have more than one whole, W-H-O-L-E. The denominator will be the number of parts in one whole. We talked about this um, a few lessons ago, that the denominator doesn't change. So if my one shape has four pieces in it, four parts in it, the denominator will always be four, no matter how many of that shape I have. The denominator doesn't change. The, so the denominator will be the number of parts in one whole. The numerator will be the number of blank that are shaded, the number of parts. So this might be, your numerator might be bigger than the denominator. In all of our examples today, the numerator is bigger than the denominator. And that's because the numerator shows how many pieces are colored in, shaded in, and the denominator shows how many parts there are in one whole. Okay, let's look at our example here. So you see we have a pentagon broken up into five pieces. So our unit fractions are going to be one fifth. And again, our tape diagrams have been prepared for us with just the right number of boxes. You will see that I have eight parts shaded in. So my tape diagram has eight boxes. I put one fifth in each box. If I put all those together, I get eight fifths. That goes on the top. And now I can add them up using uh, making an equation. So one fifth plus 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 one fifth, plus one fifth equals eight. Okay. Now, some of you might be saying, okay, I see that it's eight fifths, but I also see that it's one, the whole number one, and then three fifths. And you are right, that is called a mixed number. And we don't tackle those in third grade, but in fourth grade, you will write this both as eight fifths and as one and three fifths. So if you want to get started doing that now, you are more than welcome. Just make sure you show it both ways. All right, our next shape is a triangle and it has three parts in it. So that's thirds or one third plus one third plus one third. So I have four thirds. And I can write that on the tape diagram and in the equation. Four thirds. So you can see that in both cases, our numerator ends up being bigger than our denominator and that is totally okay. Okay, that's it for me. It's time to work on your output page. I'll see you next time.